Hey there, today we are looking at the Wireless Go 2. I uh, have Mike here with me. He What's was up? nice enough to bring it over and not open so that we could open on camera. Mike is a great photographer and he does reels on Instagram quite often, so you should go follow him. Thank you, Mike. All right. No problem. Do, 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 uh, do, do the honest, man. Do the honest. Uh, go for there, it, man. No worries. Oh, All right. Go. Okay. Let me see. Okay. It's not an Apple experience, but. Oh, a bunch of. Oh, okay. right. Okay. Then I have a look at the Mac. Yes, please. So. All right. All right. So it just opens up. Okay. Like, um, oh, that looks pretty good, though. It's nice that they come with the, the little. We don't need this. Air thing. Yeah, what's Different. funny enough that it has like three, so I guess like an extra one for if you lose one. Uh, yeah, that's true, because you don't need three. Yeah, exactly, because mm -hmm. it's okay. only two, uh, one receiver, two transmitters. Okay, that's fine. Oh, yeah. Thanks, comes. Rode, that's pretty cool, yeah. I guess. It comes with a little pouch. Uh, it's quite useful. I feel like microphones especially, they, they're very sensitive to, to liquids. So it's nice to have a pouch that fills in these uh, water resistant. Uh, I believe this is the one for the camera and then you have a couple of charging yeah three USB-C USB charging cables sometimes I, I do jobs where like people's equipment is super old but it still has this plastic on top oh it's, really it's the most frustrating thing in the world. <laughs> and this is like gross because dirt start coming yeah in. It's, like, it's, nice. uh, it's like you know how people keep the remote controls in uh, it's still Jesus in plastic Christ. it's My like God. are you mad I currently use um, this, which is what we're recording on now, which is a Tascam DR10L, uh, but this is a recorder itself. So when it comes to the editing, I have to sync this in post. I personally never really minded, but I got to a point where I'm doing a lot of jobs where it requires a lot of syncing, and I'm starting to feel like it would be very helpful to have a wireless. I've used Sennheiser before, I've used Sony before, I've used some other wireless uh, radio receiving mics, but I've never really been a fan of any of them. Always had interference problems and like, I don't know, never really enjoyed the experience using those. These ones look quite interesting. So uh, I'm, I'm eager to see how well these do compared to the ones I already use. Not just in quality, but also in Interference, interference wise, right? yeah. No, I'm very eager as well because I've used the first one as well only once on the shoot, and the first thing that I definitely noticed is that the wind, what's it, wind cloth, wind moss, wind cap, wind cap. I don't know. Uh, they've changed the mechanism. Before it was just you just put it in there and it sort of like you know stays, but the problem was that because it had like a little clumps on uh, this part on the wind cap. I keep forgetting what's what's the name. Um, Wind cup, yeah. and uh, but now it's a twist twist mechanism. So you put it in there, you twist it, and it actually stays. Okay. Whereas before it was literally oh, yeah, it was so is, easy to fall out. You know that was my frustration with the first one because I've used it, as I said once, and uh, yeah, it was just even unbearable. You know, you just put it there, and within a second it just would come out. So it's oh. nice. It's nice. Yeah. One two one two. I don't have a pocket, so I'm gonna have to just clip it on. One, two, one, two, testing, testing. Sounds good, but because yeah. it's like, you know, falling to... Yeah, it's falling to the inside, isn't it? So it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a little bit of kind of like, I'm gonna say an issue, but you know. One, one, one. Personally, I'll never have this onto the person unless they're wearing a suit, something like that. And it has to be like last minute, I would put it on the suit. Mm. Ideally, you want to use this with a lav, um, just because it's better to deal with. It will probably sound better. There's only so much they can do with a microphone mm -hmm. within something this small. So I think it would be interesting for us to try this out with um, a lapel. So let's do a quick one, two, do, should we read? The beauty of the view stun the young boy. Two blue fish swung in a tank. Her purse was full of useless trash. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. Two blue fish swung in a tank. Her purse was full of useless trash. 
So this is the lav, the exact same lav that I'm wearing right now for the Tascam. Ideally, this is something I would like to use. So we'll see if it works. Okay, it connects quite well, which is nice. Obviously, the, the little security here doesn't do anything, but it's fully in. Okay, right now I have both microphones side by side, so you should have a pretty clear comparison between the Tascam and the Rode. Uh, just for reference, this is, a, this is the Rode with a lapel mic from Tascam. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. Two blue fish swam in the tank. Her purse was full of useless trash. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. Two blue fish swam in the tank. Her purse was full of useless trash. Probably some difference, I yeah. hope, or maybe not. We'll see. You'll be I mean, honestly, if it's the same, I think Rode wins because obviously the Tascam is great quality. It works well, but it requires the, the extra step of syncing. Mm -hmm. And what I found with syncing, it's not even like the syncing itself, it's just locating those files. Because I've been shooting a lot where I have multiple files of sound throughout the day that I have to link to multiple different clips. Mm. And that's getting to a point where that becomes a little bit of an issue just because there's so much of it. And especially when you're backing up things, you wanna make sure that you not just have the clip backed up, but the sound backed up. And sometimes sound can be overlooked and left to the side. So if the sound is already synced, inside the camera it's a great plus and obviously adds to the point that you can double check your sound while you're recording which the task we can't always stress the task to do a great job recording but it would be nice to be able to hear it okay so we are outdoor now we're gonna do a couple of tests in the wild in the open space we're currently using the the laugh mic Mainly because that's the setup I want to go for, because if I were to get one of these or to use these often, I would be using lav mics and not just the recorder itself. We well, might do the test with the, just the recorder itself just for testing purposes, but ideally this is what I want to try and use it for. Same here, I would say, yeah. Just yeah. the yeah, lapel and then, yeah, just for the test purposes, mic on its own with the yeah. with and without wind uh, thinning yeah okay yeah so right now a little bit of wind very mild uh a lot of animals and people around so this is kind of the ambient type sound uh yeah. we can stay quiet maybe for like 10 seconds just to yeah. sort of like you know hear the ambience if yeah. like how well it, it is so that's the ambience The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. Two blue fish swam in the tank. Her purse was full of useless trash. I love that last one. That last one's really good. <laughs> so relatable. Okay. Obviously not ideal situation again with the clip on, but you know, yeah. we can't do... This, this is ridiculous, man. So if you're wearing like a suit or a jacket and this is kind of clipped into it, or if you're wearing dark clothes, you might get away with it. It's like I'm just wearing a t-shirt and this thing is yeah. a little heavy for just a t-shirt. And so I just kind of want to mention this as well, because look how, oh yeah. yeah, look how Lucas just put it here inside and then it just flipped yeah, outside. Flipped and out. then now the mic is looking in the other yeah. direction. So it's like, yeah, mm. if you're mid through an interview or if you got something happening and you can't stop in the middle to adjust, these things can be very, uh, yeah, but again, it's a plus that this has a little mic into it. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. Two blue fish swam in the tank. Her purse was full of useless trash. I think the distance would just kind of make or break this for me. If it has a decent distance, I know I can trust that if someone's kind of walking around or if we're doing a large event, you can trust that this will do it well. Oh, you see again, it twisted, oh, it twisted it around. I realized it put Jesus. the microphone upside down. Oh no, it, it turned. Oh. Because my, my t-shirt doesn't really hold this, I'm just going to be holding on my hand. Uh, but yeah, it keeps twisting and turning just because the t-shirt that I'm wearing is not yeah, very... So probably you need to, yeah, into yeah. like a, a harder t-shirt. Again, the jacket yeah. would be the perfect option, but lapel guys, lapel. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's do what, the ambient sound, I let's guess? Let's do ambient, just uh, ambient with the thing on top. 
It's better than without it, a hundred percent. But I don't. I still think it's not as good as with the 100%. the lav. Obviously, we're not hearing what it actually sounds like. We're just looking at the and the, the levels, levels yeah. and judging from there. But the beauty of the view stunned the young boy. Two blue fish swam in the tank. Her purse was full of useless trash. How did that sound? And there we go. That's a question. Okay. Well, the distance test. Now, now, what we're we here for. Okay, so we're gonna do another test now where Mike is gonna go that way because there's trees and more things that will probably be in the way. Walking with a bit of interference over there in between the trees. There we go. Is it all good? Nice. Uh, yeah, I knew these things will handle it pretty well. Well, I watched a lot of videos, so a lot of people were saying that, yeah, they can handle a big distance. I'm not sure about, I'm literally covering myself with the tree. I'm not sure if it's like working or not, you know, if, if it comes as an interference. All loud and clear, all good. Sick, God damn it! even like between the trees. Let me try and get actually somewhere between probably more trees. So I'm just gonna go uh, on the left a little bit, just see how that's gonna look. So it's even more trees now. Probably about like, what? One, two, three, four, four trees. Bit of interference from people. How's it? So, so, right? So, so, so with the... But you can still hear me, right? A little bit. All right, so, well, I now came into like, kind of like a clear view-ish. So obviously, it probably is better. All right, nice. Let me just go a little bit further, yeah? I'll just go further, see how it is. All right, let's go fast. So in conclusion, I really like this Rode Wireless too. It seems to be a great improvement from the first one. But I did notice there is a significant increase in interference whenever Mike turned his back to the camera, but for me that's not a very big deal. Now comparing this to my trustworthy Tascam DR10, it's not as great in quality. Listening back, I personally prefer the sound from Tascan. I think it's a little more compressed which allows me to have more flexibility in the edit and a more fuller sound. But the road, especially with the lapel mic, sounded incredible and it got pretty close to the Tascan. I do think I may consider getting one of these for some instance where I'm recording on a controlled environment and creating lots of different pieces of videos for convenience sake only. Now if you're trying to decide between these two, I will say it depends on your priorities. If you want the best possible quality and you tend to edit the sound in post, I would definitely suggest the Tascan. But bear in mind, this will take more to make it work. Otherwise, I would suggest the Rode, as you have great results straight out of camera. That's all I have for you today. I just wanted to say a big thank you to Mike for helping me out with this video and letting me use his microphone. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have watched this far, make sure you hit the like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'll see you next Monday. Goodbye.